Bear on Bears fans, little breaking news here on the Chicago Bears podcast. I know we're a little late getting to it, but we were recording the pod. I was driving back home. There was the traffic, Chicago. Y'all know how it goes, but at nonetheless, the Chicago Bears have signed Jalen Johnson to the franchise tag. Not exactly what we thought that was going to end up being thought that it seemed like a deal was going to get done pretty eminent there. But um, this does not mean that it is the end of the road here. Good to know at a minimum that we do get Jalen Johnson worked out on that tag. Adam Schefter reporting this the bears are placing him on the tag uh, and he will get $19.8 million on the franchise tag. But what this does allow the Chicago bears to do is to still negotiate this long-term deal that could be, it could end up being uh, in place as long as they get something worked out before the July 15th date. Now I do want to know how you guys feel right away on this. What what are your thoughts on Jalen Johnson getting signed to the franchise tag? Do you feel like this is a good move for the Chicago Bears? And what do you think is kind of the end game here? Is he going to play out the season on the tag? Or is he going to sit there and get the long-term deal that he has been looking for? Now, what's interesting about this whole situation to me is that we've heard Ryan Poles the entire time talk confidently about how the negotiations have gone between Jalen Johnson and uh, his team and uh, the Bears front office right now. Uh, even last week, he said that you know he he's coming strong with the numbers and strong with the uh, the years and the guarantees and all of that, and that he believes that something will get worked out. the The beauty of this tag here is that it kind of allows Jalen to put the ball back in his court. It is a non exclusive franchise tag for Jalen Johnson. Per sources, Courtney Cronin tweeting this out said other teams can negotiate, but the Bears have the right to match any offer. If they don't, they would get two first round picks. And I think that that, again, opening up the options for you, right? Being able to get back some draft capital, possibly if you don't have that full on belief, or you want to go with one of your guys, if Ryan Poles wants to go with a Tyreek Stevenson, or, you know, wants to work Terrell Smith in there a little bit more, or you do want to stick with Jalen, which in this case, I do believe they want to stick with Jalen. I think that this is more of a, we need to make sure that we're getting everything ironed out, that everybody's happy that we're all kumbaya heading into the season because when that July 15 date gets here, right? If we get past that and Jalen Johnson is still on that franchise tag, it's going to be really tough to, to uh, uh, watch him play out on that tag have us here at this time next year and basically say, listen, we, we, you've done everything you, we asked you to do. Uh, you've gone out and you've added the turnovers. You're still a great guy. As far as the PBU numbers, your coverage numbers are amazing. Everything that we want to see from you are amazing. We just don't want you on the team because you're not our guy like that. At that point to me, I think that's a little bit drastic there. And so I don't expect the bears to do something like that. I do expect a deal to get worked out here, but the fact that this is a non-exclusive tag, now other teams can get in. Now other teams can make offers to Jalen Johnson. And I think the teams will listen. I think that his team, this is kind of what Ryan Poles did before. And now, right. You, you don't have to go out there and get the or trade away. The draft capital. I said this before teams that weren't willing to be in on the deal to start the season. Right, you think about some of those teams that when Jalen Johnson went out there halfway through the year, the 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 uh, uh, trade deadline comes up, and he goes, you know, I I I'd, I'd love to come play here. Right? What, what would you work out a trade? Blah, blah blah. A lot of the teams were like, we're not trading for you and signing you. We don't have you at that level of player yet. He finished out the uh, the the NFL season this year as that level of player. He finished out the season this year as a top five DB in the NFL. Some would argue top two. I think you could say that he's at least in that conversation of those guys and so now you kind of look at what Jalen Johnson is is able to do in now going into a market where he's increased his value dramatically he's able to go out there now tremendously and uh and confidently and say listen I I think that this is what I am worth I think that you've seen the guys that are getting paid such and such around the league right now would you offer me this level of deal for your team and I think that more teams will be more inclined to do so now because yeah I the, the bears, do they really want them? Are they dragging their feet on this? Or are they just trying to let the other teams set the market yet again? 
I'm not really sure how Ryan Poles is playing this and if this is the right way to play it. You've kind of played yourself in this situation, what, twice before already? Now Jalen Johnson being this value of player. But maybe, right, this is, hey, go out there and see if they still believe or if they believe that you're worth that level of money that you're asking for. If they say you're worth it, we'll match it. I could see all of that happening, and that's just the business of the game, and everybody turning around and going, listen, got the long-term deal done. It ended up getting done in a different way than we wanted it to get done. We wanted to get it done outright. So here we are, right? And, and I would assume that the Bears have to be somewhere near this kind of money. I would assume that, right, you're talking about $19.8 million. That's the $20 million that I said you needed to basically just slot right into his bank account anyway, the money that you opened up from cutting Cody Whitehair and cutting Eddie Jackson. Uh, you needed to slide that straight to his bank account anyway. So I guess the, the, the question for Jalen Johnson right now is, right, how much above the cap are you trying to go? And if you go out there, if you go on the market and they say, listen, we're willing to pay you kind of what Ryan Poles has said he's willing to pay you. We're willing to go here with the money. We're not willing to go to 23, 24, 25 million. We're not letting you reset the market like that. We'll go 21, 22, something in there. I would assume Ryan Poles is somewhere close to there. If you've already placed this franchise tag. So like if you go to other teams and they don't say that, does Jalen Johnson come back and just say, okay, listen, this is what I was offered. This is what I'm worth. Uh, or this is what I believe I'm worth, but this is what I'm offered. This is what I'm willing to take to stay here. Or I mean, like everything that we've heard from both sides has has been I'm not even going to bring up the or my or was going to be you know is this something where maybe there's some some animosity building up here because of the contract tension and different things that go into that but both sides have been very spoken very glowing of the other side getting something done right Ryan pay Ryan Poles has talked about uh, multiple times how you know he feels the conversations are good with Jalen's camp and how you know he's he's excited and, and believes and wants to keep Jalen Johnson here um, Jalen Johnson has talked about how he wants to remain a bear at every turn here so i guess the the the, the biggest thing is how are you going to get it done when are you going to get it done and is this tag something that we see him play out on the season that is this tag something we see go past that july 15th date where you know now you're heading into the season with him playing on the franchise tag he does he want to risk that he talked about playing on the tag before but now you're allowing that tension to build up right say an injury hits or something crazy happens you're allowing that tension to build up i I just don't think that we want to get to that point with this. I would love to see a deal be able to get done straight out, but this is a business at the end of the day. And sometimes these decisions take longer at a minimum. I love the fact that the bears are allowing themselves the time again, making a decision, but not rushing into a decision. You assign them to the tag today. You've got four and a half months to work something out. Let's get something worked out. That's what it comes down to, to me at the end of the day. But Hey, I do want to know how you guys feel. Let me know in the comments below. I'll be down there talking with you as well. Do you like the Jalen Johnson signing? Do you like that? They signed him to the franchise tag. Do you feel like maybe polls is playing a little bit too much here around with this one. You know, is he, is he taking too much of a chance? I'll let you, I'll let you guys decide in the comments below. As always, though, it's your boy Pat the designer back at it again to continue watching our Chicago Bears content. Click the links on the screen, check the links in the description below, and appreciate you for listening to the Chicago Bears podcast. Y'all stay safe out there, Chicago. Bear down. Peace.